Hey everyone, it's Alex the Real Mr. Robinson, and welcome to the start of my brand new full Let's Play. As promised, it's Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, now, the reason it's taken this long, and the reason I've been hyping up for a bit, is because I actually wanted this Let's Play to come out sooner, but I had to use an emulator, and once I was done recording, uh, I found my original cartridge for Pokemon Fire Red. So, I got my brother's Game Boy Player, and I'm ready to go, and plus, the emulator just the frame rate on that was crappy so um yeah so we're doing it with a real cartridge on a game boy player on the gamecube without further ado let's jump right into the world of pokemon oh wait a minute uh, i waited too long i was trying to build up to the end of the music whatever now we jump into the world of pokemon okay so right there i actually tried recording this before and uh the file got lost. The video file got lost, so that's my saved progress. So, we're just gonna start a new game, huh? Various buttons will be explained in the order of their importance, huh? Main character moving- yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, 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 we know, we know. We- I played Pokemon before, Nintendo. Hello there! Glad to meet you! Welcome to the world of Pokemon! My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, let me... But first, tell me a little about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or a girl? Well, I can drop my pants and you can see for yourself. No, we're not gonna do that! <laughs> Sorry. Um, I couldn't help myself. Uh, let's begin with your name. What is it? Uh, Alex... I know Pokemon X, Y, uh, Alpha, Sapphire, and Omega Ruby. Uh, they, um, had... They put in more... Um... Char like spaces for characters, so I could put in my whole name Alexander, but this is generation 3, so we're just gonna do Alex. Right, so your name is Alex. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Uh, what was his name now? Wow, way to go. Best grandparent of the year, if you forget your own grandson's name. You know, because I've recorded this so many times, I just put in ass as the name, but I'm just tired of making the same joke. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm sorry, I can't help myself. Ass. There we go. Uh, was it ass? Uh, sure, yes it was. That's right, I remember now. His name is Ass. Alex, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Alright, so I pretty much... Tried recording this. If you count the emulator uh, recording, uh, I tried to record part one of Pokemon Fire Red three times. This is my fourth attempt at recording it. Uh, so, pff, ran into my mom right there. So, normally what I did the other two recordings, I just try to leave. Uh, but I'm just gonna go to Oak's lab because he, we're gonna end up going there anyway. Oh, what? What? Only, it's only Alex? Gramps isn't around? Oh, damn it. You mean I have to go out into the wild grass? Damn it. To try to get further ahead, uh, I just wasted time. Whatever. Hey, wait. Don't go out. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in the tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Yeah, come with me. But I was just at your lab, Oak. Whatever, we're here. There we go. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Ass? Let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Uh, just wait. Here, Alex, there are three Pokemon here. Haha, <laughs> that sounded like Tommy was so laugh right there. <laughs> The Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Alright, so... Hey, Gramps! No fair! What about me? Be patient, ass. You can have one, too. 
All right, so I mean, okay, if you if you've been living in a rock uh, for the past 20 years that Pokemon has been around. Uh, that's right. This franchise is 20 years old this year. Well, I'll go over the starters right here. First up, we have Bulbasaur, which is a grass poison type. It's pretty awesome, I gotta say. I see, Bulbasaur is your choice. It's very easy to raise. So Alex, do you want to go with the grass Pokemon, Bulbasaur? No. Uh, the next one's Squirtle, which is a water type Pokemon. Squirtle is your choice. It's one worth raising. Have you decided on the water Pokemon Squirtle? No. As much as I love Bulbasaur and Squirtle, I'm going to go with the Pokemon that every most people choose. Charmander. Ah, Charmander is your choice. You should raise it patiently. So, Alex, you're claiming Charmander, the fire Pokemon? Yes, I am. Because, uh, Charman Charizard trumps all for me. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. Alex received the Charmander from Professor Oak. Do you want to give a nickname to this Charmander? No, believe it or not, guys, I'm actually not into na nicknaming Pokemon. I'll take this one, then. Ass received the Squirtle from Professor Oak. That sounded dirty. Whatever. Alright, on my way. Wait, Alex! Let's check out our Pokemon! Come on, I'll take you on! Alright, first Pokemon battle. Rival Ass would like to battle. Rival Ass sent out Squirtle. Go, Charmander! Oh, for Pete's sake. So pushy as always. Alex, you've never been in a Pokemon battle before, have you? Yes, I have. I really wish Nintendo would just, like, for this game... It's only this game because it's a remake of the first Pokemon game. I really wish that they just had a button that said, Yes, I know how to play a Pokemon game before. So you could just bypass all of the instructions. Because no other Pokemon game... Uh, Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver didn't do this. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire didn't do this. So it's just whatever. It doesn't matter. We're kicking ass. Oh, crap. Whatever. We won. Faux Squirtle fainted. Charmander gained 70 experience points. Charmander grew to level 6. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokémon! Alex got 80 Poké Dollars. Awesome. I don't know why I addressed myself in the third person. Hmm, excellent! If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokémon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokémon strong. Hooray for gambling and cockfighting! Okay, I'll make my Pokémon battle to toughen it up. Alex, Gramps, smell you later! Alright. How's the status of my Charmander? Oh, it's fully healed. Okay. Alright, because we are going to head over to the Viridian City. Oh, I forgot about this. Look, look, I copy it. With... That's not a trainer tip. That's a... Here, you've never played a video game before tip? Here you go, dumbass. I don't know. I'm, I'm just... Fr I'm frustrated because this is the fourth time I've had to record and I'm sick of going through all these tutorials again. For a game that most of us have played already. And to add insult to injury, I encountered a Pokemon that I might want to use on my team temporarily. Whatever. Hmm. Whatever. Made it through the forest. No, Route Run. We're in Viridian City. There's a Pokemon Center. There's the Pokemart. This is where we need to go. Hey, you came from Palatown? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can you... Can I get you to take it to him? Alright, so we got that. Oh, thanks. Please say hi to Professor Oak for me, too. Alright, so we can't actually buy things yet. Uh, as if... Oh, I have a lot of money to buy stuff with. Uh. Alright, so now... We head back to Palatown, and we don't have to go through all the tall grass anymore. Don't go into the tall grass! As a little reference to the Lost World, in case anyone was wondering. Which, by the way, I've had to make that joke uh, several times over. The big, 
thing about recording uh, the these this let's play again is that I have to remember all the jokes I made. Uh, Oh, Alex, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Ah, it's a, the custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps! I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request for your two. For your two, for you two, on the desk here is my invention, the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Alex and Ass, take these with you. Alex and Ass. Alex received the Pokédex from Professor Oak. You can't get detailed data on Pokémon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokémon. Five Pokéballs. Nice put the Pokeballs in the Pokeball pocket. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. Alex, I hate to say it, but you won't be needed for this. Necessary for this, whatever. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Alex. Ha ha ha! Don't bother coming around my place after this. Wait, what's that? You said come around to your place? Okay. I actually can it. Oh. It would be cool if I could take Bulbasaur with me. That would... Alright, go in this house. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. <laughs> what a grateful granddaughter. Here, this will help you. Received a town map from Daisy. Put the town map in the key items pocket, which may not be entirely necessary because, I mean, this is a remake of the original Pokemon games. I pretty much have, like, people that grew up in my generation uh, through the 90s, Pretty much know these games, like, by heart. Uh, or at least the routes we need to take. Stupid Rattata. What a useless Pokemon. Sorry, I was just... I was listening to the music. Another Rattata. Alright, so now we are officially getting on our Pokemon journey, and we didn't even bother to stop by the house to tell Mom, Hey Mom, I'm going on a Pokemon adventure! Well, she, she, I'll be, she knows I'll be alright. Huh? But anyway, we're here at Route 22. Um, well, up there, you can have the option to fight uh, your rival again. Oh! Speak of the devil! But uh, the main reason I was here is because there is a Pokemon on my that I want to catch for my permanent team. And you're looking at it right now, Mankey, which is a fighting Pokemon. I've never actually used a Mankey on my team, but I heard that it's a really good Pokemon to have, especially when it evolves. So I said, you know what, for this Let's Play, we're going to use a Mankey. Alright, one Pokeball. Gotcha! Mankey was caught! Mankey's data was added to the Pokedex. Mankey, the pig Pokemon. Light and agile on its feet, and ferocious in temperament. When angered, it flies into an uncontrollable frenzy. I love how its leg looks like a- uh, its foot looks like a chicken foot. Give a nickname to the captured Mankey? No thank you. But anyway, yeah, up there, uh, you have the option to battle your rival again. Uh, which, we're not gonna do because the levels sudden his levels just suddenly jump up rapidly and when i record this uh the third time before this recording i lost so we're gonna go here we're gonna heal the pokemon 
Um, you know what? We can, since we're here, let's just get some more Pokeballs because I think, I think we can do the trick with, um, um, okay. All right, 10. Let's see if this works. Oh, no, I don't get a Premier Ball. There are Premier Balls? Wait, are there even Premier Balls in this game? I think it just might be Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, and Master Ball. Oh, well. Oh, this part here. Well, now, I've had my coffee, and that's what I need to get going. Hmm, what's that red box you have? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word of advice, huh? Stop while you're ahead! Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates the data. Yeah, yeah. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? I suppose we'll show you then. Uh, do you see the Mankey that I have in my party? I think I know damn well how to capture a Pokemon, old man. What will the old man do? Yeah, so, I mean, they really, like, when they remade this game, it's like they re- they, It's like they forgot it was a remake, so they had to leave in all these tutorials. Which, it's so frustrating. Like, I know how to play a Pokemon game before. Blah. I already know how to play a Pokemon game. Whatever. It's done. There! Now tell me, that was educational, was it not? Not really. And here, take this too. If there's something you don't understand, uh, watch that. It'll teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. I, yeah, and you know, I didn't even try to sound like an old man. Like, if it's characters from the anime that I'm familiar with, then I will um, try to do impressions of the anime voices. But if it's just random side characters, like that old man there, I'm not even going to attempt um, doing a voice. But yeah, now we are here in the Viridian Forest. Um, well, because we have to go this way. I came here with some friends to catch us some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get into some Pokemon battles. Oh crap, so everyone here is his friend. Oh, yeah. Well, we could use the experience. Oh, an item down here. Extra potion. But yeah, we have to get through the Viridian Forest. But there's also another Pokemon that I want to catch on my permanent team. Huh? Not that, huh? not a Weedle. Can't escape. Oh shit. I was hoping to get that trainer, get to that trainer first. Okay, got away safely. Good. I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon and I ran out. That's why you can never have too many Pokeballs. Well, I guess it's a good thing that I. Uh, got those Pokeballs in hopes to get a Premier Ball, but whatever. Hey, you have Pokemon! Come on! Let's battle them! You know what? I gotta say something that about concerning the Pokemon anime that really freaked me out when I was a kid. So, in Episode 4, Ash battles a Samurai that has a Pinsir and a Metapod in the Viridian Forest. I gotta call you back. But, um... Ash has this image of, like his Metapod fighting the Samurai's Pinsir. And, like, he has an image of the, of the Pinsir crushing his Metapod into two. Uh, and you see Metapod break in half, and I'm like, Jesus Christ! That's horrifying right there! Oh, crap. Okay, Poison Sting. Oh, God. God. Uh, every time, like, Weedle does Poison Sting, I'm just nervous beyond belief. Uh, if it's going to be effective or not. Huh? Okay, critical hit. No, I mean effective. Like, if it's gonna poison. Huh? Alright. Level 7. Ember, awesome. That'll help us out in these battles. Huh? Yeah, we'll switch Mankey out because he needs the experience. Huh? But yeah, there is another Pokemon in this uh, forest that... Um, I would like to use on my permanent team, huh? and um, I mean, I think you all know what it is, huh? but um, uh, yeah, you you guys probably know what it is, but it 
Oh, almost. Uh, string shot. Whatever, you're... Oh, wait, no, you're not faster than me. Well, I think you are faster than me now. No, still faster. And I win. Foe Caterpie fainted. Mankey gained... Okay, Mankey grew to level 4. That's awesome. Nope, Cater... No, Caterpie can't hack it! Okay, 72 Poké Dollars. Nice. Alright, walking through the bushes. Encounter wild Pokémon. Nope. Not what I'm looking for. You know what? Uh, Mankey could use the experience. Huh? Even though this Caterpie is faster than me. And apparently all it knows is tackle. Whatever, I'm... I'm strong. Ooh, missed! Whatever, I'm fa I'm stronger than this Caterpie anyway. Oh! That was weird. Whatever, I thought Caterpie was faster. Yo! You can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. I don't get what that means. You can't jam out if you're a Pokemon Oh, oh. You can't weasel your way out of a fight, huh? Alright. Switching back to Charmander. Oh crap, don't poison, don't poison, don't poison, don't poison, don't poison. Oh, thank god. Okay. Well, now you're probably faster than me, but whatever. I still have the upper advantage. The main advantage. And you didn't attack me again with an actual hurting, damaging move. Faux Wheel fainted. Alright, Mankey's at level 5 now. Oh, almost. Another Weedle. Sorry, I'm just so focused on what's going on. And I'm also drinking, um... I have a drink in my hand. It's really It's a Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer, which is non-alcoholic. Uh, uh, basically, it's just butterscotch and cream soda. P pretty much butter beer, uh, from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, except I don't think it's, like, Wizarding World- Oh, you bastard. Um, don't worry, there's an antidote nearby. Uh, that's the advantage of playing, uh, trying to record part one over and over again. You know where certain items are. And given that I have two potions, um... You know what? Kakuna is probably just gonna do Harden. Um. We'll have Mickey out in the field. You know, at some point I'm just gonna bring in um, Charmander. If like the move, if Scratch starts doing nothing, because I can tell that this Kakuna is just gonna do Harden. Until its defense can no longer go up all the way. Alright, come on. Oh, you know what? We'll just keep Mankey out here. Because it's not going to hurt me. All right, Kakuna's defense won't go any higher. That's the disadvantage of just having a Metapod or Kakuna on your team. It can't hit you. Which is why, like, it's weird that they're random, like, wild Metapods and Kakunas out in the Viridian Forest because they don't know any moves outside of Harden. You might as well just catch a Weedle or a Caterpie beforehand. Oh, low kick. Awesome. Almost. Huh? I ran out of Pokemon! Thank you for the monies! Alright. Okay. Oh, this is- this has gotta be it. 
Yep, antidote. All right. Now let's heal up Charmander. Nope. There we go. All right. All right, he's fully healed. And cured of his poisoning. Uh, this is not the right way, but we get... We get another trainer battle, which I'll take, huh? Wait, wait, that, uh... That non-alcoholic beer I was talking about, um... It's good, but it's, like, doesn't taste anywhere near as good as, um... The butterbeer at Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which... For the butterbeer there, um, like, it, it's, it's so good. Uh, like, I haven't been to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando, um, but, the, but, but butterbeer is just such a good drink. <laughs> it's addicting, I gotta say. And get, down goes Caterpie, level 7. Alright, now my Pokemon are evenly leveled. Uh, we're just gonna, oh no, Mankey's fine by one level, whatever. Alright, finish it off, Charmander. There we go. That was easy. Oh, now Mankey's mine by two levels. Alright, just went around in a circle. Whatever. Weedle. Anyway. We're not close. Oh no, we're not close to the end. So yeah, we'll just as we go through the forest, let's just hope we come across um, the. Um, I thought it was a trainer battle for some weird reason. Uh, hopefully we'll come across that Pokemon I want to catch. Um, you know, I could use the... Um, okay, the exit's over there. There's another trainer there. And that's not the wild Pokemon I want to catch. It's like, once I... Oh, I just turned my head and I already encounter a Caterpie. Come on. I think it's pretty cool that they have, like, Mankey so, um, early, uh, in the game that you could catch it. I mean, we'll see, I mean, we'll see how, um, good Mankey is, uh, when it evolves later in the game. Okay. Uh, I was about to do low kick, but, uh, okay, this is the hard end situation again. I'm just going to bring in Charmander. Um, oh yeah, last time I played this I tried to like, oh wait, low kick, I'm going to show off low kick because it's a brand new move, and it fighting doesn't work well on both Pokemon, uh, or poison, like, I was using it on a Weedle or a Kakuna, so it was hard, so, it was hard to tell what it was not effective against, which side it was not effective against. We'll keep Charmander out for the whole battle. Level 10. No, yeah. We'll just end it right here. Super effective. Down goes Metapod. Oh, I lost. Yeah, you did, Lowe's, and thank you for the money. All right. Wild Pokemon. Nope. Not what I wanted. Oh, you know what? Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. When we get past, if we don't encounter that wild Pokemon before we get to the end, I'm just gonna spend a bit of time searching the grass, uh, hoping to find it. Uh, 
and like I'll, like I won't re be recording during that part. I'll cut away until I find the actual Pokemon. But first, let's take care of this trainer here. Okay, because I'm so worried about uh, poison. Oh, maybe I should have saved Charmander if I was worried about poison. Oh, whatever. Didn't didn't attack me. Yeah. Oh, now it attacked me. Oh, gee, it's so stressful whenever poison sting, sludge bomb, or toxic. No, not toxic because that only poisons. But it's so stressful when poison sting. And, um, that was it? You just had a Weedle? Uh, whatever. Okay, so we're at the end, but we didn't encounter that Pokemon, so I'm just going to spend some time off-camera finding that Pokemon, and then I'll be right back. And it's not the Weedle! Here it is! The Pokemon that needs no introduction, Pikachu! Huh? Um, and... Yeah, literally, it needs no introduction, so... I'm hoping I don't... Can't, ooh. Oh, static. Whatever. Yeah, so, I've never... All the Pokemon games I've played, I've never actually used Pikachu, huh? Or its evolved form, huh? So, this is gonna change. I'm gonna use Pikachu, huh? Oh, come on. See, I don't want to hurt it again, because I don't want to accidentally... Kill it. Whatever, I got 13 Pokeballs. Huh? It's gotta catch at least once. It's gotta work. Yes! Pikachu was caught. It has small electric sacks on both its cheeks. If threatened, it loses electric charges from the sacks. It's the mouse Pokemon. I why did I- I cut Pikachu and I didn't even bother to try to do it in the Pokedex, uh, language. Or the voice. Whatever. Oh, we got Pikachu. We got two new Pokemon on the team, including our Charmander. And the, all three of them will be permanent members. So, now, we are in Pewter City. And we're gonna call it a break here. We're gonna call it a day. So, this has been part one of Pokemon Fire Red. And hopefully it saves this time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait- uh, uh la, 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 let me start that again. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Um, if you know any tips within the game, um, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll be sure to read them, uh, for future episodes. But, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share them with your friends. Don't forget to check out my official website. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud. No, not SoundCloud. Periscope, Rift.tv. And if you love what I'm doing, whether it's movie reviews, Let's Plays, or video or whether it's movie reviews, Let's Plays, or podcasts, you can go over to patreon.com slash the real Mr. Robinson and donate a monthly fee. And remember, this is the real Mr. Robinson telling you there is only one.